Hello friends, as you probably already understood, today there will be a review of Chinese Gay Station console. Game Station, I'm sorry. A wonderful Game Station 5 box. Just look at it. It really took the best of the original. To be honest, copy it at the level. By the way, the situation was almost the same with the Game Station 4. Why be modest, the GS3 was just as good. I don't have two predecessors. Unfortunately, I won't be able to collect the collection. As for what should be in the box, the console itself is awesome. A cost which actually unexpected because the Chinese put something extra, they saw the world and stop, I confused it with Apple. Next comes the power supply of wire to connect to the Switch. But not HDMI, here we have a connection with AV in, so in 4K you definitely won't see Mario today. But don't worry, I will show it to you like that. I think it deserves a thumbs up. By the way, I haven't maintained the price yet. It costs $15-20 dollars estimate on AliExpress. And let's be honest, overpaying just for the look because apparently the console only runs NES. Can you imagine what kind of donkey shit this is? A copy of PlayStation and runs just one console. In any case, let's open it all up and figure out what's inside and how it's packed. And by the way, I think everything was neatly laid out in a plastic package. Not same stinky cardboard, but plastic. One feels of course the business level. So it all looks like we have a flea market toy in front of us. But let's not talk about it. Of course, the first step is to inspect the console. And just so you know, it's colossally small. I'll now specifically show how it looks net to the real PlayStation 5. Just look at the difference in size. You immediately feel who is the father and who is the son. But if someone says that the PS5 itself is huge, then I'll pull next to it or rather I'll put a DualSense gamepad. In size, in fact, is the equal to the console. What about the visual? Side white walls without any patterns, it's just plain white, the Chinese didn't even try to put their logo on the console. But to the honest, there is a thing that I care more about. You can get upset, you can rejoice, there is no gloss here. Everything is finished in a matte finish. And it's really beautiful. I talked about it and I really like the way it looks. But at the same time, the black light is completely upset. Apart from, of course, the red indicator, which explains what is working there. But instead of RGB black light, they added exactly what was removed from the previous version of the console, namely gloss. Well, we are generally silent about the fact that there should have been a such a cooling system here. By the way, it about her, behind her still tried to move. There really are some holes, but they are closed. And about the fact that this picture only remotely resembles the original, we are silent. And the way the guys tried, but there is something more interesting here. Also on the back we see an input for micro USB. There is on input for a VIN to show the picture, but if you look closely, then at the bottom of the console there an input for micro CD as well as HDMI. At least that's how it's written. We don't have connectors. If they are inside the console, we will find about that a bit later when we break this stuff down. Well, for the rest, in principle, you can see for yourself. Connector for Type C, of course, nuts. We have two USB here and each of them, of course, a joystick socket. From below, everything is in principle the same as in the original, but it just doesn't look as elegant or classy. What about joysticks? Unfortunately, there is no copy of DualSense here, but they got a parody in the form of controllers from PS1. Why a parody? Because the cross of the left is pressed easily. But when it comes to the right buttons, all the buttons in the middle, from that moment the heaviest begins. The Buttons are hard to press. In other words, it's true. Well, this is not such a big problem because we have already used it to see it in the similar Chinese consoles. I don't know why, but for same reason the joystick of these consoles, they're just really small. So small that if I want to, I could play with just one hand. Sorry, of course, but I felt a little cringe from this. Because I also had other Chinese consoles, and those joysticks were decently larger. It's not that I have a complex but it seems to me that there is an obvious overpayment here. For such money it would be possible to carry out a larger size. Further from the interesting hair is charging with evidently comes with a test to micro USB. Know that it costs without a network adapter, but all at once. Also, this is not new for us, but among Chinese consoles this is quite rare. Here, as I completely forgot about the stand. Here everything goes without any screws, only on fasteners. And what, rather the originals they didn't decide to save on metal? Well, okay, that's all understood. Let's 
let's move on to the launch the console. To do this, we will go to the guest room, and I will tell you right away. <laughs> is that so? I have some bad news, because there is no screen saver, there is no Unique Y menu, we really have NES emulation here. So all you can do here is probably just run Super Mario. On the other hand, there is 200 games here, therefore you can find something fun to run with a friend, so what am I talking about? Nowadays you can play such games on almost any device absolutely free. If you all, let's finally move to this assembling this game console. and I will say it right away that you can start opening this console from two sides. On the one hand correctly, and on the other hand breaking off the fasteners that are tightly screwed into the wall of this console. By the way, this is what the console looks like the from the inside. It's just an empty box with a huge amount of free space. There is also some weird bullshit here that looks like a what forms in your belly button when you're wearing a sweater. Doesn't turn out to be a China's fluff. Otherwise, in principle, I think there is no questions left. Conclusion? She is shit. Who would doubt that?